Howdy! The Wii. Ah yes, the Nintendo Wii, everyone's favorite cause of tendinitis. For a while there, people just couldn't get enough of this thing, my family included, and it was all thanks to the motion controls. They offered a level of immersion you just couldn't get with a traditional controller, and the concept was really simple for anyone to understand. You don't need to know a specific button combination to throw a ball or swing a bat, you just did it. But nobody can have a discussion about the Wii without bringing up its pack-in title, Wii Sports. Wii Sports is a game that everybody back in 2006 played. Everybody wanted this game, it was the game that people knew the Wii for. Wii Sports was birthed from the idea of Nintendo wanting to reach a new untapped market in the game industry. The casuals. In order to do this, they needed to make a game that was incredibly simple. But they didn't want to alienate their core audience, which preferred more in-depth experiences, so the goal was to get gamers and non-gamers to equally enjoy the game. Wii Sports is a collection of five mini-games, tennis, golf, bowling, baseball, and boxing. All of these sports were incredibly simplified for the casual market, but offered enough depth to keep the most seasoned gamers coming back. Wii Sports is actually a game I have a ton of memories with, and the one I recall the most is my first experience with the game. I remember being six years old and my parents had woken me up in the middle of the night to show me the Wii my dad managed to get. This was back in 2006 at the dead beginning of the Wii craze, so the fact that he got one is pretty impressive. I wonder how many heads he took that day. Anyways, they gave me a Wiimote and let me have a go at tennis. I remember being pretty astonished by the fact that when I swung my arm, the character on screen would do the same thing and I'd just go... It's like I'm really there. But I doubt you guys came here to listen to me drone on and on about my past with Wii Sports, so why don't I stop talking about Wii Sports and start talking about Wii Sports. Presentation-wise, it looks basic. The game has a modern aesthetic to it that I've always really enjoyed, and the soundtrack that accompanies the main menu is so good, and the game runs at a solid 60 frames per second. But it's clear to me that the game was made to demonstrate the Wii's motion controls and nothing else, so the result is the game's lack of spunk. It has no character, there's no soul here. The graphics are passable, and I know I said the soundtrack is good, but it too is devoid of life. Character animations are very stiff and robotic, and everything about the game just screams launch title. Despite all of this... I still think the presentation is good. Nintendo could have easily went with a Mario theme, in fact that's actually what they were going to do, but instead they went with this because user feedback preferred the Miis. It's unique. Yeah, incredibly average, but still unique. This style has the potential to be something really charming if it was more fleshed out. But a huge AAA game wasn't Nintendo's goal. They didn't want to make a pretty game, they wanted to make a game. So the basic presentation makes sense, and at the end of the day, it's the gameplay and content that matters. Tennis. The only game where I can simultaneously win and lose at the same time! All you have to do here is swing the Wiimote to swing the racket. That's all the control you have over the Mii, however. They automatically move into position to hit the ball, it's just up to you to swing at the right time. You can affect the ball's trajectory by swinging the Wiimote in different directions, so there's still some depth. Baseball. This one is whack. The game manages to sort of accurately track my movements when batting, but it'll register any quick flick of the Wiimote as a full-blown swing. It all depends on the angle the Wiimote is at and how hard you actually swung. Properly timing when to hit the ball is a bit weird here for me personally. The camera is directly behind the batter at all times, and the ball doesn't have anything like a black outline to really make it pop out, so I often struggle to hit the ball consistently. This game also tells you in the tutorial to hold the Wiimote with both hands, and it's just... No. The Wemo is way too small for me to comfortably hold it like this, and besides, using one arm is just as effective. Oh yeah, we're talking bowling. One of the most extreme sports. What? Don't believe me? Well, watch this. Jokes aside, this is one of my favorite sports in the game. It's not my favorite bowling game, that honor goes to Tekken Tag's bowling minigame, but this is still pretty good. In terms of gameplay, you hold B, then move your arm like you would if you were going to throw a real bowling ball, then let go of B to throw the ball. The motion controls work pretty well here, they're not as smooth as I'd like them to be, but overall they work and feel great, and I know for a fact that every kid who played this game back in 2006 did this at least once. So far I've enjoyed every sport the game has to offer, so let's see what golf has in store for me. That sucked! So there are multiple factors going into why I don't like this one, and I'm gonna get the dumb one out of the way first. I have absolutely no patience for golf. I don't understand why, I love turn-based RPGs, in fact my second favorite game of all time is a turn-based RPG. I think it's because the gameplay of golf was never really that fun for me, so whenever I play it, it feels more like a chore rather than a game. 
The other reason I don't like golf on Wii Sports is this. I am, I am, I am swinging. Like this, like this? Like actually like this? How does this work? The Wiimote just doesn't do a good job reading my movements here. Like, is this what I'm doing? I don't think so. I swear, no matter how gentle I am, the game often thinks I hit the ball with the intent to kill and I'll have my arm like way up, but the game thinks I'm holding it horizontal to my body. I doubt people are gonna burn me at the stake for not liking Wii Sports Golf, but I know people enjoyed it, but I just don't think it's aged the best. Boxing. It was Punch-Out on Wii before Punch-Out on Wii! Going into this one, I thought it was going to be a nightmare to control. Boxing uses the Wiimote Nunchuck combo, and I had horrifying experiences with the motion controls of the Nunchuck because they are just not up to snuff compared to the Wiimote's motion controls. But to my surprise... This worked great! The controls are almost perfect, and it is incredibly satisfying to wail on a guy, and I love how the game slows down when you dodge a punch. I think this is a great spot to segue into how you control the game. To perform Assault and Battery, you just move the Wiimote and Nunchuck forward to punch the opponent's face, and to hit their body, you just bring the Wiimote and Nunchuck down to your waist and jab. To dodge, the game expects you to move your whole body, but waving your arms back and forth is just as effective. I would also like to add that when you knock somebody down, sometimes they do a full flip as if you just punched them with the force of 10,000 exploding suns and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> what? And that's all the sports in the game, and uh... In terms of gameplay, some have definitely aged better than others. Like, I'll happily go back to bowling or boxing, but I'm not really thumping my foot at the thought of playing golf again. Of course, Nintendo could have ended it there in terms of overall content. The sports alone give the game good replay value because you could play them over and over and over again by yourself or with family and friends. But they didn't do that and instead put two extra modes in the game, so why don't we take a look at them? Before there was Wii Fit, there was Wii Fit Ness. It's basically a series of challenges the game has you go through to determine your Wii Fitness age. I'm not really feeling this one. As it stands, Wii Fitness is a short 10 minute romp that you'll probably play once out of curiosity and then never again. I think it'd be better if you could select the challenges that you want to play, which is funny because that's basically what the training mode is. This should really be called challenge mode because... That's what it is. There's three sets of challenges for each of the five sports included in the game that boil down to getting the highest score possible or getting the highest score under a time limit. Single player wise, this adds a lot more replay value to the game and I can see some serious gamers actually getting quite a bit of mileage out of this. I think my favorites are the punching bag mini game and power throws is just dumb fun. The tennis games are great too, though one of them crashed the game because my copy is old and left in the care of a six-year-old hunter, so that depresses me. Now I grew up with this game and I love it to pieces, so it kinda hurts to come to the realization that... This game hasn't aged all that gracefully. The motion controls aren't the best, they don't really track my arm's movement in real time at all because the Wiimote couldn't do that. Instead there are only general areas where your arm can be, and it works... some of the time. And like I said before, even if it makes sense, the presentation isn't the greatest. Like, I know it started off as a tech demo and they turned it into a game, but it doesn't have to feel like a tech demo still. It could have felt like a full-blown game. If the game just had a little more spunk to it, I wouldn't whine nearly as much. Nowadays, I only really consider Wii Sports as nothing more than a novelty. It's not something I go back to play because it's aged gracefully, it's more like reminiscing. Like, oh, I remember this, that was really fun. Obviously, a lot of these problems can be easily fixed with a great sequel, but there's just one issue with that. The game was designed to show the power of the Wiimote, and it did its job, so the Wiimote would need a significant upgrade in order to justify a sequel. So the Wii was printing money for Nintendo, and that success can be sort of contributed to Wii Sports. And it's not hard to see why, the casuals were absolutely adoring this game. It was so simple and easy to understand, everybody wanted it. Truth be told, Nintendo was actually making a sequel, but development wasn't exactly moving at breakneck speed. And then this little white brick came into existence. It was called Wii Motion Plus, and it's basically an accessory that lets the Wiimote do what it was advertised to do. It's just a gyroscope and a plastic shell, nothing too crazy, but once Nintendo got their hands on this technology, development for Wii Sports 2 was actually starting to get somewhere. The game was then later shown off at E3 2008 along with the Wii Motion Plus accessory. Then Nintendo promised us that every copy of Wii Sports Resort would come packaged with the Wii Motion Plus accessory. Yeah, I never actually bought the game when it was initially released to the masses, so does that mean I never owned the Wii Motion Plus accessory? Yes, but I can still play the game by using this Wiimote with Wii Motion Plus built into it, so let's give the game a fair shot. This is going to be my first time actually playing through Wii Sports Resort. I played through a few games at my friend's house, but uh, not enough to really have a full-blown opinion on the game. 
Resort Star released in North America on July 26, 2009, and it sold 33.13 million copies in its lifetime. Starting up the game, we are greeted by a tutorial video on how to attach and detach the Wii Motion Plus accessory. Turn the Wii Motion Plus accessory so that you can see the arrow on the lock switch. Insert the Wii Remote Controller. After that's out of the way, you have to play through a skydiving minigame and good god, what a first impression! It's blatantly obvious that Nintendo put much more effort into the presentation compared to the last game. The music, the sound design, the visuals, it's all got a lot more energy to it. Resort just has more charm. This is a video game through and through. I adore the menu theme when you're selecting a sport, when it plays the jingle from the first game then goes effing nuts afterwards, it's just so... so good. Character animations for the Miis aren't nearly as stiff as they once were. It's nothing groundbreaking, but still an improvement, and I gotta say, the setting of the game is perfect. Woohoo Island is such a charming little place for all the sports to take place in, and the fact that you can explore it as well and learn little facts about the island just adds to its character. Overall, I'm glad to see the presentation amped up. It feels less like a tech demo and more like an actual game, and yeah, sex is great, but have you ever used Wii Motion Plus before? Before, the motion controls worked fine enough, but now, they are buttery smooth. They're significantly more accurate in this game, making it the overall better experience. Sure, sometimes you have to recalibrate the controller, but I'll happily take this over clunk. Of course, better control often equals better gameplay when it comes down to Nintendo, and not only have the sports been improved, there's more of them to boot. There's a grand total of 12 sports here, with some returning from the previous game along with newcomers. So let's start from the top with Swordplay. One of my friends called this minigame Pimp Cane Simulator back when the Wii was relevant. <laughs> this one is such a good time, man. Knocking Miis off the platform is so satisfying, and the unlockable modes are just as fun. That wasn't something the original game lacked, you had to unlock all the separate minigames in the training mode. But they weren't front and center, you'd probably pick training mode out of curiosity and be like, oh, there's unlockables. In Resort, the unlockables are shoved right in your face, and I love that about it. Although, in my opinion, they handle the unlockables in a bit of a weird way, but more on that later. We gotta talk about wakeboarding first, I know I only prioritize the important things. When I went to select this one, I had to do a double take because I thought it said waterboarding. Anyways, this one is fantastic. You hold the Wiimote on its side to steer left and right and use the water as a ramp to perform tricks, which is done in a similar way to Mario Kart Wii. However, I think the motion controls feel a lot more responsive compared to Mario Kart Wii. The steering is leagues better, and I have a much easier time performing tricks here. Though, I've never really liked shaking the controller while steering. I usually try to find an alternative if there is one. So in Frisbee, you throw a Frisbee! Really? Sometimes a balloon is thrown into the mix, which elevates this game's status from casual to gingivitis. Which is a fancy way to say I'm bad at it. I just don't know the proper timing for letting go of the Frisbee, it always ends up careening off to the right or left for me. Also, is anyone else shocked that Nintendo never bothered to expand the Miis to include pets after this game? They made a dog for the Frisbee game, so I don't see why they couldn't do it, I'm sure people would like it. Back on topic, there's also a Frisbee golf mode, and who knows, maybe I'll actually find enjoyment with this one since it's Frisbee instead of a ball. One makes me feel like I'm being a ninja whipping around ninja stars like crazy, and the other one feels more like a souped up version of Croquette. I can angle the Frisbee to cover more ground, which is really fun, and the hole is just a giant beacon that's incredibly easy to hit, so that helps with my enjoyment. It's still not my favorite, but I'll happily pick this over golf any day. I'm sure someone's pissed to hear me say that. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Like that guy! Archery. It was also featured in Sports Champions, but it sucked there, it was way too complicated. In typical Wii Sports fashion, it's simplified, but still manages to be fun with a nice layer of depth. You hold the Wiimote in your left hand to aim, and draw arrows with a nunchuck. These controls work alright, but for someone like me who is right-handed... No! I just can't aim like this! I still have fun playing it, and the controls worked very well, but this isn't really my ideal way to play. If I could use my right hand, I think I'd be a little more comfortable playing the game. Basketball is the last sport I expected to see here, since it's very involved with players moving all around the court and there's only so much you can realistically do with the waggle rod. But to my surprise, basketball's implementation is actually quite good. First there's the three-pointer, where I sucked initially but made a huge comeback on the second attempt, and pickup is more in line with the normal game of basketball. They're both great modes, but I think I prefer pickup because I could totally see this being a great time in multiplayer with two players trying to frantically get the ball from one another. So Nintendo didn't bring back tennis, Instead, they neutered it. Table Tennis is the name of the game here, and... 
I think I prefer this over tennis. Timing when to hit the ball is way easier thanks to the black outline around the ball and the games are much faster paced, leading to incredibly frantic gameplay that is really fun. Return challenge is pretty great as well, but it's a tad too easy in my opinion since it's easier to time when to hit the ball, though I gotta say. The crack you hear when you land a good hit on the ball deserves a hearty fuck yeah. Hey everybody, golf's back. Great! Do I like it now with the improved control and better presentation? No! Instead of my problem being the clunky control, lackluster presentation, and lack of patience and skill for the game, now my problem is just my lack of patience and skill for the game. The improved motion controls definitely make it an overall better experience, and the calibration you can do by just pressing B is a fine addition. Doesn't change the fact that I still hate and suck at golf. I'm sure an angry mob of Wii Sports Golf fans are heading here by now. Oh, they're coming. Bowling, the graceful return of... I'm glad Nintendo brought this one back, and it's better than ever, since Wii Motion Plus just makes everything that much more smooth. Also, you can still do this. But they didn't just bring bowling back, they even brought back the mini games! 100 pin and spin control are just awesome additions for when you want to mix things up a bit. Power cruising, it's basically waterboarding with a more annoying control scheme. I also think this is Nintendo giving us Wave Race without actually giving us Wave Race. I understand what they're going for with these controls, you hold the Wiimote and Nunchuck like they were the actual handlebars on a jet ski and you rev it up to get more speed with the Wiimote. I like the idea, problem is, the Wiimote and Nunchuck aren't connected like handlebars, so in execution, the controls just feel off. Like, would you seriously jump at the chance to control this? Alright, so canoeing. Take a hard guess on how you control this one. The entire time I was playing, it felt like I was doing something wrong, but I won here, so... I have to be doing something, right? Cycling reminds me of the running minigame from Wii Fit, now with 100% more nunchuck. You have to shake the Wiimote and nunchuck constantly to maintain speed while also steering the bike. I've said this before, but I don't like shaking and tilting the controller in Wii games. It's just not fun, but here it's infinitely worse because I have to constantly shake the controller to keep my lead on top of steering. Okay, now this one is awesome! First there's skydiving, and it's still pretty great, but now with the added gimmick of getting as many me's together as possible before a picture is taken. But skydiving is nothing compared to the main attraction here, flyover. You pilot a plane using the gyro control of the Wii Motion Plus, and it is literally perfect! You can even learn little facts about Woohoo Island by flying over certain landmarks, and it's just awesome. It's just so alive, and this minigame made me have a greater appreciation for the setting. This game is an improvement in almost every way. It's got spunk, it's got charm, it's such a fun little experience. The soundtrack is wonderful and the setting is so inviting. Yeah, you have to recalibrate the gyroscope every now and then, but that's such a minor complaint that it's pretty much irrelevant. The only actual issue I have with this game is how some of the unlockables are handled. Unlocking difficulties when other mini games with selectable difficulties don't have you unlock them all equals a hearty what? from my vocal cords. This doesn't really hamper the experience, it's just something that confused me. The existence of this game really just emphasizes how much the original has aged. I still think it's a good game, it's just... We have better options these days. But no matter what game I play, golf will always suck. I don't think I've emphasized that enough. What the fuck is this? Dear Huntalic, we will not allow you to taint Wii Sports Golf with your negative comments any longer. Prepare for your demise. Oh shit, they do exist. Oh shit, that's a bomb!